Hi everyone, in today's video we will look at how an SSL connection gets established. SSL stands for Secure Socket Layer and is a protocol that was originally developed by Netscape in the 1990s. It was eventually superseded by TLS and today when people talk about SSL they are really referring to the TLS protocol. So when does SSL really get used? Whenever you open a website connection using HTTPS, you are really using SSL. So HTTPS can be thought of as HTTP encapsulated within SSL. Now let us look at how a SSL connection gets established between a client and a server. So here is my client, here is my server. First, a typical three-way TCP three-way handshake takes place between the client and the server. Once this connection has been established, the client will send a hello message to the server. This message contains the SSL version ID as well as the list of cipher suites that are supported by the client browser. The server will choose the highest SSL version ID as well as one of the supported cipher suites and send it back in its hello message to the client. Along with it, it will also send its certificate which can be used by the client to verify the identity of the server. And finally, the server will send a done message back to the client. All these three messages may be encapsulated within the same IP packet. The client will use the certificate to derive the public key or to get the public key of the server as well as to verify the identity of the server. It will compute a pre-shared key and send it back to the server by encrypting it. It will send this in a message called a key exchange message. The pre-shared key is encrypted using the public key of the server. It will also send then a change cipher spec message which will indicate to the server that any subsequent messages from the client will now be encrypted. And finally, it will send a finished message. This is the first encrypted message from the client to the server. The server will obtain the pre-shared key from the key exchange message. And once it has got that, it will send its change cipher spec message back to the client. And it will then send its finished message, which is the first encrypted message from the server to the client. Once this communication has taken place, both the client and the server have a shared secret key, which now they can use for encrypting the bulk data between the, them. So this bulk data is encrypted using the shared key, which both the client and the server have derived. This concludes the presentation on how an SSL connection gets established between the client and the server. Thank you for watching. Thank you.